All right, this is promising to be a big weekend in Clearwater. Brian Adams has a concert planned, and the Sea Blues Festival takes place at Coachman Park. But drivers may be the ones singing the blues this time around. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joining us live in Clearwater to explain. All right, what's going on, and why now, Peter? <laughs> Exactly. Why now? That's what we wanted to know. CSX is going to be doing some road work here, some railroad bed work. You can see it behind me. This is at Court Street and South East Street. But eight on your side want to know why all this work is going on just as thousands of people are coming to this area. The Friday Brian Adams concert at Coachman Park will be the first test of the new detours as fans try to make their way to the waterfront venue. Next comes the Sea Blues Festival over the weekend. Crews are setting up the stage and tents in anticipation of thousands of music lovers descending on the area. A main route to both events and the primary way to get to Clearwater Beach will soon be blocked. And we just ask people to chill out, enjoy the ride to the beach. An FDOT mandated project to convert State Road railroad crossings to concrete means this intersection will be blocked for three days while CSX completes the job. The city and a county pushed very hard to get it last October. Uh -huh. And we thought we had it then, but then it got slip back to this date. Doing the work in the fall would mean less traffic volume and less hassle. So if City of Clearwater Fathers had their way, this would have been done a while ago, and having it done now is not your first choice? No. Uh, it would have been done back in September, October, November time frame. There are two detours that are going to be put into place come Friday morning at 9 o'clock. If you're heading westbound, you'll take Pierce Street or Turner Street. The opposite direction, if you're heading eastbound, you'll take Franklin or Turner Street. Once this project is completed, the work moves a block south to Chestnut Street and will require the same detours. Eight on your side contacted CSX. A spokesperson responded. CSX coordinated closely with the city to schedule this work before March to avoid spring break traffic. And that spokesperson didn't address why this work wasn't done last October. She did apologize for the inconvenience and said it's being done in response to the rough crossing out here. And I can tell you, we've been out here for some time, and every time a car goes by, you can hear it. Keith? Oh, we're getting so used to all this construction just about everywhere you go. But what exactly are CSX crews going to be doing there, Peter? Do we know? Kind of interesting. Anytime there's a state road crossing where there's a railroad crossing, they're going to be putting a concrete tub. Essentially, it's a large one piece that goes across all lanes, has the rails already installed. It's a prefab unit, and that's what they're going to be doing over those three days. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's interesting. Peter Bernard reporting live in Clearwater. Thank you.